So welcome back, YouTube. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna trap the dragon now, or actually I'm gonna start the the uh, the like the peace talks, which I think I do by talking like I think it's like right after I talk to this guy. I'm actually not sure how much more of the game I'm gonna do. I know there's a lot more, but I don't know. I definitely want to finish the main story, and then we'll see where see where I am after that. I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. I wonder if you can actually we'll succeed in that persuasion attempt. As best we can. I need your help. What do you, you want me to let a dragon into the... There must be another way. The risk is too great. All do it. World Eater himself. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? I didn't say anything about giving up. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. But I need your help first. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. Then, at getting both sides to agree to a truce, maybe. Hmm. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tom Leave that to me. I, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons. Yeah, this is usually how I play this game. Like, I'll usually play it for, you know, I'll play it a lot. I'll play, you know what I mean? Like, when I start a Skyrim character, I'll play it, like, every time I, every chance I get. But then I'll, like, get, you know, get burned out on it and then not end up doing all that I wanted to. And I think that's kind of what's happening here, actually, to be honest. And the thing is, um, like, I don't, I don't know. I always feel weird coming back into a character in these kind of games after not playing for more than a couple weeks. Trying Sorry. to remember where I was, what I was God. doing. I need your help to stop the war. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. Partanax has made the decision to help you. This is the... Even the Greybeards must... So be it. We will see if they still remember us. So this is actually the first time I'm ever going to visit the Palace of the Kings. <laughs> One thing that would be fun, though, is... Um, I've heard, like, I've never actually done it myself, but I've heard people talk about using that, um, that permanent resurrection spell on Ulfric after you kill him. After I guess you side with the Imperials, and then you kill him, and then you use the permanent resurrection spell on him, and I guess you get a companion that can shout and everything. So I guess that, that sounds cool, but, like, I don't have much left of the game, you know? Hey, you're the one who killed Elaine the Font up in Ralvasar. Oh, yeah. Word about that goes around. Oh, okay. Well, if he doesn't care, then whatever. Ulfric won't give us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Only the. Do I know you? I have a message from the it's Greybeards. It's about time they turned their gaze from the heaven. I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course, and the dragon attack. But I can't afford to appear weak. I can't. Alduin has returned. Alduin. Even Tullius may be forced to talk. Yes, I'll give Tullius one more chance to live Skyrim with his We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire's put...
it isn't a slave Ooh. of Glen Moral Witches. How can I assist you? <gasps> hey! Why didn't you all fall down? Let's try this again. One more time. There we go. There. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, now. Let's actually go in. Castle, though. Let me in. No lollygagging. Conjure me up a warm bed, would you? Remind me. Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? A message from the, the Greybeards. What do those old hermits want with me? Why, there's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. They are getting to be a problem. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. The dragons are a bigger I'll problem. I'll be the judge of that. Besides, but fair enough. We're driving the Stormcloaks back well enough at the moment, but we're already overstretched. That's what comes of trying to win a war with a bare handful of legions. If the Ember would just give me the reinforcements I'd requested. Why would he give you reinforcements? Most of the legion is tied down on the border with the Aldmeri Dominion. From the Imperial City, our war here is just a sideshow. An interlude before the main event against the Thalmor resumes. You'll come to yes, the Beast Council? Yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. I'm telling Council. you, Ulfric's We're planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to... The Greybeards have called the Peace Council at High Roth. No, really? The Greybeards called the Peace Council at High Hrothgar? Yeah, I'm kind of the one that's organizing that. Stupid guard. Hello, Barn Beer. So, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here, in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. And I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in Don't worry. Peace. I'll get them to agree. They're not yet tired, but Take your seat at the council so, table. Arm Gear, is what it? Wisdom we can find you know why we're here. Warriors. Are you going to let us in or not? I'm ready. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. Sit down, noobs. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit you of... insult us by bringing her to this negotiation. Your chief talus hunter. That didn't take long. Get some here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this I don't like this table. To get the These lines aren't things. symmetrical when you're just looking ahead. By Ismir's beard, the nerve of to think that I would sit down at the same table with that Thalmor bitch. Yeah, get rid of the Thalmor. Frig off. Very well, Ulfric. Enjoy your petty victory. Owned. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. Ha! Skyrim will never bow to the Thalmor. Unlike your imperial friends here. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's council, Galmar. Legate, we represent the Emperor here. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the Dragon Menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. 
I knew he wouldn't be able to resist. Temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragon, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiation? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markarth. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely what out of character. I want in return. Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? Why is General Tullius looking at me? I already stopped. Yeah. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, interesting, yes, yes. Hmm. 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 Yes, yes. Hmm. Yeah. Tell you what, take a winter hold, because I'm in the Thieves' Guild and I don't want you screwing up anything in Riften. Owned. Riften seems like a better choice to me. Well fortified, easily resupplied from across Lake Honrick. Plus all the mead we can drink. There are advantages to gaining winter hold. the loss of Markarth. With the reach in enemy hands, our whole position in solitude would be threatened. You asked my opinion, Fair man. Enough. I gave it to you. I was hoping you could put aside your loyalties for the greater good, but I see you're firmly in Ulfric's camp. Still, Winterhold would allow us to directly threaten the rebel supply lines out of Windhelm. Better than nothing, I suppose. But Ulfric will need to offer a lot more if he wants me to give up Markarth without a fight. Dragonborn has spoken, Tullius. Markarth will be ours. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your talk of good faith. You disappoint me, Dragonborn. I accepted your invitation on trust in your good name. But it seems you intend to favor Ulfric. I can see now that this is not a negotiation at all. I mean, you don't have to ask my opinion, guy. If you're unhappy with it, just say no. Turd face? You're willing to sacrifice thousands for your own selfish ambition. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the headsman's axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing. The Where's the smoke the from this fire go? Is he of that, I guess? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned. The world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. 
Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Shut the fuck up, Tullius. You didn't even want to come at all. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Markarth on these terms. Jaws, bone. Where will this demand end? Let's hear it. We want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation it's for your butchery at... All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. So, Dragonborn, what do you say? Hmm. 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 Hmm, yes, this requires uh, quite a bit of thought. Hmm. Hmm, yes. Well, hang on. If Ulfric, whatever, if the, whatever, the, the Stormcloaks massacred some poop town that was also full of Nords that weren't, like, Imperials, then technically he didn't owe you anything, guy. <laughs> he might owe something to that village for being a poop tent, for being a poop stain, but like, if they weren't like part of your thing, then don't owe you anything. But actually, I'll, I'll say they owe you compensation just so it's like one for one, I guess. For once, you'll actually pay for your crimes. You know I can't agree to these terms. The emperor would repudiate this treaty, and I would be recalled. You see what talking to them gets us. I'm listening. We want the Pale returned to Imperial control. The traitor Skull the Elder will be replaced with a more loyal candidate. What next, Talius? Shall I just hand over all of Skyrim? I guess I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide, although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. So, what are you talking about? I gave you both one thing so far. You know what? Because Talius is such a prick, you don't get anything else. As I expected, you favor your friends. Tullius, just because you're such a prick, I'm not giving you anything else ever. I'm going to join the Stormcloaks just because you've been a turd. Let's hear it. Never mind. I can see that these are the best terms we'll get from this council. So be it. The Empire at least puts the greater good above our own interests. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. Ulfric will allow Imperial troops to enter Winterhold. Kraldar will replace Coriel as Jarl. The Stormcloaks will pay appropriate compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. Man, if it wouldn't take so damn long, I'd load this save and take everything away from Tullius. Prick. As long as the Imperials hold to them. What about you, Alistair? Are these oh, I, I wonder if there's a mod to, like, speed up this whole process. Where, like, you just talk to Barnbeer and, like, say... Whatever. Like, Stormcloaks get this, Imperials get that. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Elisir. I appreciate your loyalty. These terms blatantly favor the rebels. Everyone here knows that. But the Empire... Tullius is still throwing a fit. ...the dragon menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Galmar. Jeez. Giving up Markarth... All right, and now that I have an opportunity to do something about this... That's not what I meant to do. Whatever. I assume you are familiar with the dragon. What are you doing? <laughs> he gets up on the table. I'm afraid this is a serious one. I've discovered who the Greybeard's leader really is. You discovered what? 
the blade, justice demands that he die for his crime. How can we order a dragon to dragon? I anticipated it. An unguessed troll of lost lore. But I won't be killing Parthenax if you're curious. Don't you I don't have the mod to like the go through the dialogue and say no, but I'm just not gonna do it. By calling the dragon with a voice, he's not compelled to, but dragons are pro your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist. Ah, indeed. I'm no. Oh, ah, Win this. And my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty okay. remains. How to. I just got an achievement called Thum Master. So I think learning this name for this quest counted as, like, learning a three word shout and got me an achievement. Wait, where is it? Hang on. Prepare for Odavang. Where is it? Um. Uh, oh, Call Dragon, right there. Wait, that is it, right? Yeah, Odavang, okay. You'll have to speak up, but. Alright, not actually to keep all of that trash in one episode, I'm gonna end the video here and start the next one.